it is of utmost importance that we follow the Trust's infection control guidelines to protect ourselves and the patients. Infection prevention and control is taken very seriously at Dorset County Hospital and so we, as an infection prevention and control team, work very closely with clinical, housekeeping, non-clinical and voluntary staff to ensure that the right information is available for them to work safely. Infections are spread by various means and prevention of infection spread is the main work the IPCT do. Please follow these guidelines. Our work covers several areas. Direct contact. Making sure hand hygiene is performed before and after every patient contact and clinical task. Indirect contact. Ensuring that the environment and equipment is clean. Air contact with respiratory pathogens. Ensuring that patients are assessed, isolated, treated and correct personal protective equipment is worn. Facial oral route. Ensuring that high standards of food hygiene are adhered to in order to reduce the risk of contamination. In addition, maintaining high standards of food hygiene and education of all staff in the Trust. Via blood. For example, making sure that there is protection against sharps injuries such as contaminated needles, and the correct management is in place to manage them when they occur. Hand hygiene. Alcohol hand rub is available at all hospital entrances and outside every ward entrance. All visitors to the hospital should use the alcohol hand rub on entry and exit to all wards. If a ward area is closed, there will be alerts on the doors to identify this and we would ask that you do not enter the ward. If you accidentally go into the ward then please wash your hands. Alcohol hand rub is also available at the point of care. Staff who are caring for patients need to ensure that hand hygiene is performed before and after patient care. We recommend that staff wash their hands if they are visibly soiled or if they are looking after a patient who has loose stools and or vomiting. When performing hand hygiene, it's recommended that staff take care of their hands by regularly using a protective hand cream or lotion, at least daily. These are available in all wards and departments. Patients in isolation. Patients can be in an isolation cubicle for several reasons. It may be due to infection control reasons, or it may be because that is the only available bed on the ward. In order to ensure that patients are safely cared for and visitors are informed, the infection prevention and control team ask the ward staff to ensure that there are signs on the doors of the cubicle to identify if aprons and gloves and other items of personal protective equipment are required before entering the side room. This is called standard precautions. Clinical staff are trained to enter and leave the cubicles and have been advised that volunteer staff are not permitted to enter cubicles. Clinical staff have been advised to check with the patient what items they would like from the trolley and assist them with their purchase. You don't need to wash the money that you handle as you are regularly using the alcohol hand rub. Dress and uniform code. All staff working for the Trust should follow the uniform policy. Uniforms should not be visible when travelling to and from work and scrubs are not permitted off-site at all. In addition, it can be of concern to have an infection or know someone with an infection. Please be assured that the infection control team at DCHFT are here to help and advise. We do stress that you should not visit the hospital if you have loose stools or vomiting or flu-like symptoms and should seek advice from your GP or ring the NHS advice line on 111.